welcome Sagittarius. I'm Brenda, Brenda Tarot, and I'm here again today to bring you your Angel Tarot and Oracle card message for the week of January the 13th to the 20th, 2020. Again, I start off this reading with giving you thanks for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking, sharing, and of course, subscribing. If you're new to me, be sure to click the bell button, make it ring, and you'll get notified immediately when any of my card readings or any of your favorite readers are out there. Click their bell and you'll see, you'll hear from them when their very videos are out there for you to view. This is a collective general reading. That means not every single card may resonate with every single Sagittarius out there, but some of it will. So take what you can from it. If you want clarity, accuracy, and answers to any questions, then I invite and welcome you to click the little icon in the top right-hand corner of this video, and it will take you directly to my website where you can see the services that I offer. All the other information, my beautiful, beautiful Sagittarius, is listed below this video. We again will be doing the Celtic Cross layout here. The all-over energy here is what's crowning you in the middle of this reading. This is coming in below you, the energy coming in above you, the energy coming in behind you, and the energy coming in towards you. You're starting off with the Four of Raphael, better known as the Four of Cups. I don't want you to get yourself stuck in a situation where you think you can't move forward this week, okay? I want you to realize there's lots of possibilities out here. If perhaps you were given an offer this week and it wasn't what you had wanted, then don't sit and worry about it. I want you to realize that there's other possibilities coming in towards you. I want you to keep your emotions in check this week as well, Sagittarius, while you're working on this. Don't get yourself in a state of where you're sitting there thinking, I've done the best I can do. It's not going to improve. Not so, okay? You have three cups waiting for you. Three new off uh, offers. Three new possibilities. Three new things that could be coming into you. This is theoretically speaking, of course. This is the four. But please don't get yourself set in your ways. This is about not being too rigid, too stubborn, and letting loose a little bit. Relax a little bit and worry less this week. You're going to be able to take your leap of faith. This is, you know, an amazing card about believing in yourself and listening to your heart and doing what is going to bring you your happiness. So don't be afraid. You know, look towards your goals, look towards your future with vision and, you know, and you'll see your future unfold. I don't want you to make promises though that you can't fulfill at this time. This is about good luck and fate and achieving a goal. When I look at the Leap of Faith card, this is about you being able to take the next step, take that Leap of Faith, go towards your goals, pursue them and believe that they're going to come to fruition this week. You have the ability to make this happen. The emperor, well, of course you have the ability to make this happen. You're stepping up. You're doing everything by the books. You're crossing your T's. You're dotting your I's. You're doing all the research that you need to do. And you are taking the position of authority. You're stepping up. You're being your own boss. Okay. You have stability right now. And you're going to take charge of a situation right now that you're working on. This is about looking at any plans ambitiously this week. Well, I'm not surprised. We've got the Queen of Swords as well. And this tells me that you are going to be able to take on the leadership role because you know exactly what it is you want to do. I see that you're going to get the benefits and the abundance coming in and the success coming in because of the experiences that you've had in the past and you're applying that knowledge now to where it is you want to go. It's a time for your career right now. The Queen of, of, of Michael, the Queen of Swords speaks about stepping up and having the authority to go over her finances okay she is concentrating on how to build that up she's concentrating on the employment sector of her life and this is what you will be doing rather than worrying about your relationship you need to think about right now the stability in your finances well you can make that wish because guess what 
your wish comes true. This is the beautiful, the beautiful nine of cups, the nine of Raphael. This means that you can make your wish because you're making and taking the steps to move towards what it is you want. Okay, maybe some of you it has to do with finances. Maybe some of you it has to do with a relationship and the romance in your life. Something in your life that you are wanting to see come to fruition, see to improve, see to bring you joy, see to bring you success and fruition. It's going to improve. The Nine of Cups says you are ready now. You have all the time, experience, support, and resources now to manifest what it is you want and make that wish. Fabulous. Coming in with the Lenormand, you've been given the Wise Owl. And this tells me that you have stepped up, both with the Emperor, also with the Queen of Swords, but you have done what it is you needed to do to retain the information, knowledge, and wisdom that you need to do what it is you want to do this week. The Wise Owl, he's able to turn his head almost 380 degrees and see everything around him. So you need to be focused this week. Focus exclusively on what it is you want to pursue this week, okay? It could be, like I say, in the financial sector of your life or the relationship sector of your life or your own personal all-over well-being, okay? You're soul-searching on this part of your journey. But I do see that you will be taking on the wisdom, knowledge of the owl so that you're going to be able to see a situation in complete clarity so that you can deal with it this week. Great. Don't be so hard on yourself. This has been coming up for a lot of other people in their readings as well. This could be you being a little bit hard on yourself, you know, beating your brow, beating yourself up. Uh, don't take on any negative energy this week. I see that you've got all the resources here to take the leap, take the offers, make the wish and have it come true. Okay. But there may be deadlines. You may think that, or there may be a, a, you know, a deadline that you have to meet. Try to get it done, but don't beat yourself up in the process. This card also refers to not allowing or enabling anybody else to beat up on you emotionally. Okay. This woman's been coming up as well a lot for some of the readings. And she's someone who is, if she's in your end of the ring, trust her. She's open. She's honest to a fault. And she doesn't sugarcoat anything. You can ask this woman anything about any topic and she'll sit you down and say, here it is, right between the eyes. Take what she says completely. Okay, this isn't the woman you take from, you know, take what she says with a grain of salt. No, you listen to her. Okay, she's honest, she's upright, she's truthful, she's forthright. If you have her in your end of the ring, if she's part of your circle, count your blessings because she's the one person, the one powerful individual you can go to because she has integrity and she's truthful. You're going to be getting offers and options. Do you pick door number one or do you pick door number two? Either way, I do see that you have done the work this week. You've retained the information, the knowledge, and the wisdom that you need to know so that when an offer comes in, you're going to choose the right one. The sun is shining through both those doors, but you will pick the one. And this may be something in the form of maybe some of you are out there looking for a job. You're going to get two options here, two offers coming in. You're going to have to sit and, and you know, be resourceful and objective and pick the one that's going to work out the best for you. For others, it could be choices about anything, but I do see that you will be picking the right choice, making a choice. Know that there may be a couple of options coming across the table this week. Coming in with crossing your reading here from Answers from the Angels, you got Sagittarius perfect timing. Everything comes in at perfect timing in life. I have preached this for years, that divine timing is an, a beautiful intervention. Things happen, profound things, the most important things in our lives. When we look back hindsight, we say, you know what? Yeah, I guess that was the perfect time for me to have this happen, for it to occur beautiful crossing the other side of this reading you've got gratitude be grateful for all that you have so this is a beautiful message today you know you're going to be able to make your wish you've got offers coming in that's going to allow you to take that leap of faith you want to go you've surrounded yourself with trusting truthful people and now you've stepped up you have the ability to take control and full power of your life so yeah you have a lot to be grateful for for full grateful 
four. Get that out. Tongue twister. Uh, and I want you to get up every day, put your feet on the floor and say thank you for one thing you have every day. It starts our day. It starts the cycle. It brings in more positive energy. When we throw out positive energy and we wake up with a gratitude attitude, our abundance just seems to flow in magically from nowhere. From, from your tea leaf, from your tea leaf messages, you got the boot. Increase your effort if you want to achieve your goal. And I had said this earlier, step up. You're doing the work here. I see that you are in order for your goal to come true. Perfect card. You've got the crib. The crib says... Where am I here? Birth or conception of a child or an enterprise. So that's pretty self-explanatory. Some of you may be conceiving a, uh, a child, giving birth to a child. Uh, there may be a child coming into your family circle. You may be dealing with children in your life, but you also may be starting out and giving birth to your dreams and a new job, a new profession. And uh, this could be all what this is talking about. you got the claw. The claw says, be careful do not take risks well you didn't get the dice here you don't have to throw the dice and worry about that <clears throat> i see that you're being careful here uh you know being careful not not and dotting your and doing things by the book i don't see this as a problem this week but it could have to do with doing anything overdoing anything physically as well or overtaxing yourself emotionally and mentally this week so take that into consideration keep your health and yourself aligned on your path for your all over well-being so that you're aligned and your, your chakras are aligned and you're able to step up and do the job at hand. Now, we're going to see what we have from what do you need to surrender to. I didn't have this one pulled, so I'm going to shuffle it right now. So Divine Spirit and my guides, what does Sagittarius need to, need to surrender to this week? Thank you. That's what you need to surrender to. Let's see what we've got. You need to surrender to inner peace. Now, let's see here so you can see this. Cultivate inner peace on a daily basis in quiet meditative moments focus on the stillness within and enjoy the inner refuge others will feel your good vibes too and your life will flow more easily so again we talked about here we talked about you know uh, being sure that you you know you take care of yourself you don't push yourself too hard and you realize that you have limitations as well but when you throw out and gratitude grace and gratitude and you throw out positive energy into the universe I'm telling you trust me it comes right back we never you know misery misery uh, likes company and misery breeds misery but happiness and 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 positive energy brings in that beautiful light that you need to accomplish these beautiful things that you want to accomplish. So surrender to your inner peace. Beautiful. What do you need to focus on today? Let's see what you need to focus on today. Divine Spirit and my guides, pick me the one card please for Sagittarius. What do they need to focus on this week? What do they need to focus on? Well, that's too many. We only need one. I will take two if two is what you give me. There's the one. You need to focus on, wow, abundance and fulfillment coming into you. We talked about that here with the beautiful, beautiful nine of cups. So make your wish. Take that leap of faith, okay? Your offer will come in. You're going to be able to make choices and decisions this week. Beautiful, beautiful message. Okay. Well, my Sagittarius, this is your reading for the week of the 13th to the 20th of January. And again, I wish you a great remainder to today and a, and a wonderful, optimistic week here. You're going to be busy, but I see a beautiful week coming in. And remember, the universe and the divine, your higher power, want you to succeed and find your happiness and peace. So surrender to it and move towards your goals and your happiness. Blessings, my beautiful souls, and know that I always and only stand in this circle of love and light for you. See you soon, my beautiful Sagittarians.